G'day folks, this video is on wiring and disassembling a um, car alternator. So this example here is a what they would call a three wire Mitsubishi alternator. So quite basically what you have is you have one wire for your warning light on your dash, one wire for your sensor from your battery and one wire to the battery. So now this unit's 55 amp Mitsubishi built um, from Japan, I believe. Yep, Japan with an inbuilt regulator. So now this video will only talk about um, alternators with internal regulators. That's an external regulator. Might talk about that in another video. We'll see. So anyway, um, so quite basically to wire them, I've got a little diagram here. So this is a bowl with two watt globe. It's imperative that it's a 2 watt globe, it has to be 2 watts um, anything over or under and you'll have issues so I'm sure if you go to an automotive shop it'll they'll tell you what sort of globe to use um, it can be different from alternator to alternator but for all the Bosch alternators I've dealt with and this alternator the Mitsubishi ones, all the ones I've ever come across have been 2 watt systems um, maybe there might be an exception, I don't know so research that on the internet if you need to. But otherwise, just two watt globe, you should be right. I'm pretty sure. So basically, your L terminal, which on this alternator, when you look in the diagram there, I'll tell you L is this one here, is the top spade terminal, one that runs up and down. So you'll take that, a wire from that, um, go through a two watt globe. So the wire goes through the globe, then on the other side of that wire, either if you have a car with a coil like this, you wire it to the coil, um, the plus terminal on the coil, the positive, either yeah, that or if it's too far of a run from where your warning light's going to be to there, you will wire it into the ignition um, on wire. So there'll be a wire. Um, that is only energized when the ignition switch is turned on in your car. Find that wire and tap into that. So then the other battery, the S wire, a lot of people just go take the S straight to this terminal here, which can be, it'll work, but really that is meant to go to your battery, so you're just meant to wire it to the positive terminal on the battery, because what that is, that's a sensory wire, so that'll say, that'll a direct run from your battery to the um, alternator and that'll tell the alternator how many volts is in the battery so it'll tell it that it's a true 12 volts because at this terminal here there could be 12 volts at this terminal but only 11 volts at the battery when really well the charging voltage is basically about 15 volts so it could say there's 13 volts here when really there's 17 volts in the battery or vice versa um, so you must wire straight to the battery because sometimes there can be resistance through the wires. So wire that directly to the battery. Of course this one you use a heavier duty cable such as, I don't know whether I have any around here, but something nice and thick and meaty um, has to be capable of whatever your alternator is. So this one's a 50 amp alternator so you need 50 amp DC cabling. For an 80 amp alternator obviously you'd want probably 90 amp. Um, you know, so always go a bit over on your cable sizes, if possible. So yeah, basically that's very basically how to wire an alternator. So you just got, um, your terminals can be called other things, your L on this particular alternator's L, but the S terminals label is R, so it's actually labelled on that. Um, external Bosch regulated, um, Bosch Bosch alternators with an external regulator, it's S and L. Um, and that includes the newer style R, E, uh, what are they, 50, I think. Might be RE50 um, terminal, I'm not too sure. But that includes the ones that use um, the AFI style connector, which really there's two types of Bosch alternator. I'll just run over here because I'm pretty sure I have one. Here's a stator coil off one. Um, and here's the outer casting off the back. So on this unit it's only a two wire alternator. Um, I'm pretty sure. 
Hang on, um, yeah. So it, actually this one might only be single wire. Um, I don't have all the parts in front of me. Comment. But basically this one, there's your B plus terminal, which goes to the battery. There's your D terminal. That terminal will go to an, um, a condenser. So be careful when you're wiring up, obviously. Now, on the regulator itself, it, if I could find the regulator, it would have a terminal that's for the, for the battery, um, sorry, for the charging lamp wire. So, if you need help with um, the charging system, just Google it generally, you'll find information there, but otherwise, send me a personal message, I might be able to help you. So, yeah. Alright, what we'll do now is we'll just crack this one open and I'll show you the general parts inside. Um, I might need to get socket set out. Oh, this fucking latch. Alright. Put that up here. So this here is actually a 2 watt lamp. Um, that's off an alternator circuit I used to have on a ride on lawnmower that used a um, 80 amp Bosch alternator. So anyway, um, generally alternators, you can make any alternator fit any car. If you can, the easiest ones to wire up are the Bosch, um, it, Bosch externally regulated alternators, they have a black regulator with a air fire pin connector, the air fire type connector. Um, they're the easiest to wire up. They're very easy to wire up, it's just that exact diagram there. So I'll just crack these two bolts so that it makes it easy. Mm, there we go. Alright, so yeah, so if you're looking for alternators to put in your car, try and find a 85 amp Bosch um, I don't have a regulator here to show you what the regulator look like, but it's a black um, external regulator. It's not the type that has the square regulator, just the square, like the one that that alternator over there would have had. They've got a sort of a rounded edges and they're, um, they're pretty good alternators, so I'll have to get a hammer to crack this open. So I'll just do that. Might be able to do it so you can see. Almost. Can I do it? There we go. It's almost there. There we go. Alright. So basically in here, what you got is I'll just move some of the stuff. This is, here's your slip rings, here's your stator. That's your pulley at the front. I won't explain how it works or what everything does. So in here, there's your brushes there, back there. I'll try and get a screwdriver and show you. So that there, that thing that I'm trying to push in, there. That's your brushes, so there's two of them. There's one that looks like it's barely even existing. So, yep, they need replacing often, but on a Bosch unit, they'll be external here, as I said. So the regulator unit's just under here. Um, yeah, so the diode pack's there, and there's the regulator unit. So anyway, that's basically the inside of a Mitsubishi alternator. And that's how to wire them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Um, I'll see you later.